you some of the treasures that Grayson has found in the unfinished part of my parents' basement. A purple pumpkin and a orange pumpkin. Are you gonna go trick-or-treating? It's January. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, trick or treat. Yeah. He's just walking around with his pumpkins. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but Felix, oh, there he is. Felix is here at my parents' house as well because we're here for a while and I don't want to pay someone to come take care of him. So he is living in my parents' basement. There he is. Hi, babe. And he hates it. He cries at the top of the stairs all day and all night because he's used to just going wherever he wants. What's up, dude? Do you need help? Oh. Grayson has been sad and grumpy lately. I don't know if he's teething. He does have a cold. So it just lets him have a very short fuse lately. Pumpkin, do you see his eyes? And his nose? I know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so Felix is here. He's sad because he didn't want to be with me. That's okay. We're only here for a week more. So. Squeeze it. Mama, open. Okay. He just started saying like, hi, Mama, and Mama, open. He's getting so big. He likes the freezer and the fridge. I don't know why. He's weird. This is what happens when you don't have any toys. You play in the fridge. What do you think, Berkeley? She just wants me to play with her toy. Okay, let's close it. Let's see if he'll say it again. Let's close it. Uh, oh, no, he's on to something else.
Right now he's kicking with his left, which is interesting. Maybe he'll be a lefty. See, that was just his left. My brother's left-handed, but Anthony and I are both right-handed. <laughs> he is the cutest little boy. <laughs> he loves kicking the ball. I've had this on there for like the past 45 minutes and she has not noticed it yet. Oh my gosh, it's killing me. Just look at the dang picture. She's downstairs with Gray right now. Hopefully when she comes up, she'll look at it. Ah, it's killing me. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Out. That's right. There she is. She's like, I can't get in. Come here, Brooklyn Tree. My dad has a, a bunch of restaurants called Scramblers. They're in the Ohio and Wisconsin and Michigan area. And we came here tonight to bum some cheese off of them. <laughs> Gray is loving exploring. He got this new toy from the store and it sings Twinkle Twinkle and he loves it. <laughs> After hours. Hey guys, so I'm editing this vlog right now and I just realized that I never gave an update as to my mom's reaction to her finding out that we are pregnant. So, oh my gosh, it took my mom forever to find or to notice the sign. I originally had um, the picture of the letter board that said baby Denzel number two, whatever, September. And I had it on the picture frame and I had it with a cup like 10 other pictures and I just had the pictures like rotating and so like every five seconds it would rotate. I had that going on like all morning for several hours and like I kept pointing it out to my mom and she would like look at it for a half second and then she would just look away. So she was not noticing that. So eventually like later on in the day I realized I had to take all of the other pictures off so then it would just be the one picture of the letter board and that way it would just stay up there permanently and not cycle through and then i was like well she'll just notice it eventually finally when she was coming back from a workout she passed it and she finally noticed it she saw it i was in the family room she was in the kitchen and she was like what even though she asked me all the time like when are you having another kid like she's been pestering me like 
for any news so I'm like mom you had to know it was coming but she was super shocked and excited about it so I was just so happy that she knew and then my dad came home from work and I was able to tell him on the picture frame as well and he was excited I didn't tell my brother who still lives at home because I wanted to tell all of my siblings together which will be in another couple weeks yeah I was just really happy to tell her especially because by the point that I had told my mom I was starting to feel like my nausea was starting to get a lot worse so it was really nice having her there to know what I was going through and help me because like I was stuck to the couch I didn't want to do anything with Grayson because I was feeling so crummy and on another note I had Felix with me and his litter box and when you're pregnant you're not supposed to change your cat's litter box because there's like some bacteria or something that can be found in cat's poop or something like that so it was fine when we were at home because I was just having Anthony do it for me but at my parents house the only way I was going to have my mom do it for me is if I told her a reason why. Otherwise, she wouldn't be like, no, I'm not just going to do it for you like it's your cat. So that was another reason why I had to tell her. But she was able to do the rest of the litter box the rest of the time for me. And yeah, it went really well. So I didn't get a video of it. I tried to video her, but like she was not re like seeing it at all and so I was just like this isn't gonna work like I'm not gonna be able to capture her on video so I thought I would just tell you guys about it so anyway that's what went on um yeah the rest of the time in Toledo was great we had a great time um we are back in Columbus now Anthony got back from his business trip so um hopefully the nausea gets better so that's all for this vlog thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next video make sure to like this video and subscribe bye guys